Hello welcome to Foster Recap, spoiler alert watch out, and subscribe if you like our videos. The movie starts with a woman named Emma and her teenage daughter, Noah, who is 17 years old. Moving from town, as Emma married a very rich man who lived in a huge mansion, and they had to move in with him. But Noah didn't like the idea of living in a fancy and luxurious place because she was used to a simpler life. She told her mom that she wanted to live somewhere else, but her mom said she couldn't do that until she turned 18. When they arrived at the big mansion, Emma's rich husband welcomed them warmly. But Noah was not happy, and she was rude to him. The mansion was filled with servants, and they kept trying to help Noah, which annoyed her even more because she wasn't used to that kind of attention, Noah went to her room and saw that her stepdad had already put fancy clothes for her in the closet. However, she didn't care about those clothes at all. Feeling upset, she called her friend and complained about her bad day. She told her friend that her stepdad was really rich, but she didn't care about all those fancy things. Her friend, however, told her that she was lucky to have all that and even felt jealous of her, she felt hungry, Noah went downstairs to find something to eat. As she opened the fridge, she got startled by a handsome boy who was also 17 and named Nick. He was her new stepbrother. Noah was rude to him, and his dog sensed the tension and started to bark. When their parents showed up, they were happy to see them getting to know each other, back in her room, Noah resumed talking to her friend, who asked if her stepbrother was handsome. Noah admitted that he was. The family went to a restaurant for dinner, and Noah saw Nick driving by and smoking, which surprised her because she didn't expect him to be a smoker. During dinner, her stepdad offered her to use his surname, but she declined, wanting to be independent. To everyone's surprise, Nick showed up at the restaurant, and her stepdad praised him for being a good boy. Emma's daughter, Noah, finds out that her stepbrother, Nick, is hiding a secret. She saw him smoking, even though he claimed to stay away from bad habits like smoking and drinking. Noah gets a bad boy vibe from Nick, making her suspicious of him. Nick and Noah continue to argue, and Emma asks them to behave. Nick says he has to leave, but the parents suggest Noah go home with him. She refuses, as she doesn't like him at all, but her mother insists they go together. During the car ride, they argue again, and Nick drives recklessly. Nick asks her step out of car, and he gets annoyed and leaves her stranded on a secluded road, telling her to take a taxi. Luckily, a boy passing by offers her a ride and takes her to a party where Nick is. At the party, Noah sees a different side of Nick, he's popular and a womanizer, surrounded by girls. Noah gave a punch to Nick's face for abandoning her, Nick didn't bother her. Nick spots Noah with another man, he is a criminal trying to drug her. Noah rescues her and demands that she go home. She refuses and later ends up drunk and lost. Nick comes to her rescue, carrying her home and taking care of her. The next morning, Noah is puzzled when her mother asks about the movie she supposedly watched. Nick had left a fake message on her phone to cover for her. They go to the beach, and Noah looks at Nick in a strange way because he is changing clothes, but her friend reminds her that he's her brother now. Later, Nick prepares for a race, and Noah comes to watch. The race is about to begin when Nick spots her in the crowd and isn't happy to see her there. Then the race begins. Nick becomes distracted during his race because he's bothered by a boy being inappropriate with Noah. He also can't take his eyes off her because she looks attractive. Despite the distractions, he manages to win the race. After the race, they party, but Noah is shocked to find out her boyfriend is kissing her friend. Angry and seeking revenge, she tries to kiss a random boy, but Nick intervenes in time. He realizes why she was upset and makes a deal with her, he'll kiss her, and she'll have to leave. She agrees, and they kiss to take a picture, which she sends to her ex-boyfriend, Dan. Later, Noah's sitting in Nick's car, then Ronnie who have to race against Nick, came and challenges to race because, break time is over, but unfortunately Nick is busy in another car with his girlfriend, Ronnie take it as opportunity to win race, he forced Noah to race because she is seating on his car and racetrack, first Noah hesitate, but Ronnie insulted her, as he will start race 10 second late, as she is a girl, Noah decided to take charge of race, Nick realized it is his turn, but he couldn't reach track in time. When race start Noah used her 10 seconds for makeup, Ronnie got anger and started race. A intense race happening between them, 
Nick is so angered because he though he will lose race because of Noah, but to all surprise, Noah raced against Ronnie, and wins the race effortlessly. All cheering Noah, however, Nick has to pay for breaking some rules by giving up his car and some cash. When Ronnie badmouths Noah, Nick punches him, scaring her but also showing his protective side. The next day, Noah's stepdad arranges a big party where Nick is expected to come. But he didn't show up. Later, Nick came home at night and saw Noah. She looks stunning and catches Nick's attention. They start talking after both seeing a Bollywood movie called War, and discussing one of the stunts in the movie. Nick argues that the stunt is impossible, but Noah corrects him and says how the stunt can be done. Nick is impressed by her knowledge of cars and how to handle them, and a strong attraction develops between them. They eventually end up having an intimate encounter. The next day, Noah seductively washes her car, catching Nick's eye. Emma, her mother, and her boyfriend, Dan, show up, but Noah doesn't want to talk to Dan after what he did. The tension between Noah and Nick continues to grow as their feelings for each other develop. Dan shows up at the mansion and is shocked to see Emma calling Nick, who pretends to be at a distance from Noah to keep their relationship secret from their parents. Noah is angry with Dan for being there and tells him to leave right away. Dan apologizes, saying he kissed her best friend because he missed her, but Noah doesn't care. Later, Nick runs into Ronnie again, who talks badly about Noah. They get into a fight, and Nick comes home with bruises. He goes to Noah's room, and they have a physical encounter. The next morning, Dan leaves after seeing Nick and Noah together. Noah and Nick go to a party, where they start making out secretly. However, one of Nick's friends sees them and tells Nick not to do that because Noah is his stepsister. The place they go is a local fight club, and Nick gets into a fight. Noah has a fear of fights and tries to stop him, but he continues to fight, winning it. Outside, they both argue, and they don't talk for a day. Nick's dad informs him that Noah's real dad, who used to abuse her, has come out of prison and wants to harm them. Nick becomes very protective of Noah. Next day Noah is in a party, and one stranger is spying on her, planning to kidnap her, but at the right moment Noah came, causing the kidnapper to back off. Noah went into the party house, and as she forgot something, some bullies locked her in a wardrobe, which triggered her memory of how his father abused her. She shouted out loud for help, and Nick helped her, and they grew closer, falling in love but keeping it a secret from their parents. Nick and Noah spend nights together and share intimate moments. One night, they are caught in bed together by Nick's dad, who gets upset with Nick for being reckless. Later, they go out, and Nick informs Noah that their parents won't allow them to stay together, making this their last special night. They head to the beach, where they both slowly start making out by stripping each other on the beach and sharing another intimate moment. Nick suggests running away together, but Noah disagrees. On their way back, while Nick is in a store to buy some stuff, taking it as an opportunity, Ronnie kidnaps Noah. Nick panics and informs his parents and the police, recognizing Ronnie from CCTV footage. It is revealed that Noah's own father is behind her kidnapping. He demands a large sum of money for her release, and Nick's dad agrees to pay while secretly involving the police. Noah's father has set up surveillance to monitor them. Nick reveals to a lady officer that Ronnie won his car in a race, and they use the car's tracker to locate Noah. When Noah's father realizes they are being tracked, he escapes with Noah in the car. Noah takes control of the wheel, and her dad threatens her with a gun to keep driving. Noah's father attacked his former wife, but she was rescued by his husband. Nick arrives, driving alongside Noah's car, determined to rescue her. When Nick and Noah find Noah's father, they both look at each other in a sense of understanding, they both recreate the stunt they saw in a Bollywood movie, Nick signals Noah, then they both bend, a lady officer inside the car takes action, and they shoot Noah's dad, finally killing him. Noah and her mother embrace, and she thanks Nick for rescuing her daughter, finally knowing that the danger is over. Later that night, Nick sneaks into Noah's room, and they share a private moment together. In the next scene, we see Noah's mother and Nick's dad discussing their relationship. They feel it's not right for them to be together. The end. Thank you for watching our content. Over 99% seeing our videos without subscribing, it means small to you but it is very encouraging for us, please subscribe if you like our video. Please like, share and comment to support our efforts.